Boom. What is up, everyone? Welcome to another edition of Let's Ball with College Hoops 2K8 Legacy Mode with Jay Dumont, your humble host. You can see how we match up against Sacramento State. They're not a very good team. They're 8 and 16. All eight wins coming in conference, surprisingly. They have an RPI of 298. Not very good. So all we have to do, do we have some bonus trails to do? Yeah, I think we do. So let's do grab rebound with web. Uh, all bonus drills have been used for the week. Alright, so let's develop, uh, get our players developing. Alright, so Felton Marie, continue to work on your inside scoring, your skills, your speed and quickness, web. You're shooting a balanced no post play durability stamina Doyle get your awareness up with consistency and clutch speed and quickness Bucky keep working on that shooting rebounding your strength up. Jimenez. Post play. Awareness. Strength invert. Ferdinand. Inside scoring. Awareness. And a balanced. Ernest. Inside scoring. Shooting. Speed and quickness. No, I'll make that a strength and mobility. Or in vertical. Bronson McElroy inside scoring. Speed and quickness. Ernest Crisp. Shooting. Your inside scoring. Your speed and quickness. Marty. Inside scoring. Your post play. Your speed and quickness. Elmer. Work on your shooting, bro. We're going to start him in the next game. Isaiah, inside scoring, post play, strength, Basahan. Let's work on that shooting, that awareness, durability, WC Laurie. Work on inside scoring, shooting, speed and quickness. All we have left now to do is play Sacramento State at home. They're not a great team. It's maybe the first team this season we're actually a little bit better than in different categories. Oh, and I meant to start Elmer, but he'll get his minutes off the bench. 20 and 4, so we can finish 23 and 4. We got a pretty high seeding. This is a very good RPI. Give us your take, Bill. The story here is the matchup at off guard. Doyle is an exceptional shooting guard. This guy is all hard. He gives 100% every moment he's on the floor. You've got to respect a player like that. North is a tremendous shooting guard as well. This guy has such a will to win. He plays the game with Web choice. with the jumper. He never stops working to improve. Is that Bucky? Oh, my Doyle. There's Bucky. Attendance is going up a little bit. The Aggies control the opening tip, and we'll get this one started. Morris set. Backs in. Beats it to the baseline. 
Morissette catches it. Left wing. The last shot missed from three-point range. Ooh, they they want to run early. Rebound hard. Great work. Key. Last shot no. laid in by North. Hmm. Doyle inbounds the ball. Let's go to our sideline reporter, Tracy Wolfson, for an update. What do you have for us, Tracy? Well, guys, earlier today I caught up with Dunk it, bro. He said these two teams complement each other so well, especially in the talent level of their respective players. He said he'd be surprised if either side is able to pull out too much of a big lead solely because they're so well matched. We'll see if he's right, Fern. Thank you, Tracy. Puts it up. The 12-footer was off the mark by Garrett. Still a two-point lead. It's blocked. He read that shot so beautifully. He knew exactly when to go up and get that one. Wonderful execution. Dishes right wing. I didn't do North much scouting of them. Misses with the D in his face. But they're still out in front by two. Nice little crossover. Takes it up. Nice job. There you go, Ransom. Man, they play fast. Get the ball and go. Slater backs him down, has it right wing. He can't really left shoot wing. though. This guy can north. Dumps it down low. Only a few seconds left of the shot clock. Jimenez grabs the rock. And it's still knotted up two. Doyle. Dishes to the top of the key. Jimenez gets it on the elbow. Here comes the double team. Feeds left wing. Webb takes the shot. Gets the go ahead button. He's got three. Takes it up. Man, they play fast, fast. No matter which way you look at it, this would be a bad loss, so we gotta lock in here. Knocks down the first one. Get this win. He's off on the second. About 17 and a half minutes left in the half. Webb hits the jumper. They increase their lead to four. Find a sweet spot on the D. Has it down low. Left side. Co. Shoots. Can't hit from beyond the arc. I'm not sure what he was thinking there. Maybe he thought he had less time on the shot clock. Lobs it to the outside. Doyle hands it off. Jimenez backs in. Doyle catches it right wing. Mm. That last trade, no good. North fought for that rebound. That's some toughness for you. Shropshire gets it out left. Co beats it to the baseline. Stolen by UC Davis. Such great instincts. He knew exactly where the ball was going. To the elbow. Backs down. Skips it to the perimeter. Morissette. Dishes it to the high post. Oh, Webb's got the Webb. position. Snuck in there. Shooting. Makes the first Coley checks in for the first time. He gets them both. 
Slater inbounds the ball. They're going to try to disrupt the flow of the offense with this half court trap. Well, let's get back to the action. Passes to the paint. Get that out of here. Get out of there, big fella. You have to protect the lane, and that time they tried to sneak one to one. The big guy has spoken. Well, uses the crossover. Can't connect from 12 feet out. Man, this Still place is going nuts. North. Well, snatches the rebound. North is having a hard time getting his shot to go, Vern. You just hope it doesn't wreck his confidence, but it's hard to see how it wouldn't. Has it right wing. Puts it up. The trifecta mm. by Marie. By mm. Shropshire dumps it inside. Mm. No good on the last layup by Slater. It's still early, Vern, but they can't take any more time to get this thing going. It hasn't been pretty for them so far. Jimenez backs down. Right wing. Bounces it down low. Fires. Can't extend the lead to double digits. But they're still up by nine. Coley kicks it out to the right corner. It'd be pretty good if they had guys who can play offense and shoot beside North. Dumps it off. Catches it. Left wing. North passes it to the left. Oh, got me. Slater with the shot. He gets hammered. Go head to the strike. Shooting two. Leave Bucky out there because he's been not doing much lately. He misses the first. The Sacramento State Cubs make some changes that could affect their chemistry a little bit. I don't think these guys have played together very often. He misses them both. Backs in. Dishes to the high post. From six feet away, grabbed by McElroy. Got it! They're in front, 14 to 3. Sacramento State is struggling on defense and Tracy has a quick report from their bench. The Hornets coach was not at all happy with the drought they're going through and told his assistants to find a way, any way, to turn this one around. All right, Tracy. We're getting set to inbound the ball. Garrett inbounds the ball. Gosling passes to the wing. Pass, top of the key. Opal gets it, top of the key. Guy's sitting in the paint. Shropshire dumps it inside. That last layup was missed by Slater. Under 13 minutes left in the half. Just throw it down. His coach is going crazy on the side. Mm. The steal by Gosley. Well, gets the reach in. Oh, that's his that's third. His foul. Now they've definitely got to get him out of there. They shouldn't have left them on the floor with all those fouls. Gosley, the spin move. Left wing, Opong dumps it off. Stolen away. The D was really waiting for him there. That's how you do it. Keep the heat on. Wait 
for the misstep and then capitalize. Crosses it over. They're going to double team him. Snatched away. You've got to squeeze it. He didn't do a very good job of protecting the ball there. Oh, that last pass was very by Gosling out on the floor. UC Davis takes its first time out of the game. Williams to keep his first stand off the bench. McElroy inbounds the ball. The Aggies bring it up the court. They're on a 14-3 run. Doyle passes it back to the left wing. Morris set. The crossover. Shoot a little runner. Down the first season, the Hornets are making substitutions. And he'll come away one of two. So I'm doing it without Webb. But they're still behind by eight. About 11 and a half minutes left in the half. Marie goes up. Beautiful. Oh. Grabs the rebound inside. Gets it high post. Takes a three. That one was drilled by North. He's one for three from downtown. Marie brings it up the floor. Colonel Marie lost track of his position and stepped on the out of bounds line. Hmm. That is a turnover. He forgot one of the most basic things in Half basketball. Court track. There, his position on the floor. North goes up and fouled hard for a personal foul. Oh, man. Let's let Bucky out there a little longer. He's not tired. Knocks down the first one. Morissette backs him down. Dishes it to the right. Pulls the no, trigger. I wanted to up and under. Bounds after the errant shot. Coley inbounds the such, ball. Such a tough move to pull off. Very effective move. Coley passes it to the baseline. The shot was short by Garrett. It doesn't matter how far you've got to go to get them, Vern. Every rebound is essential. Misfired on that last three by Williamson. It's tipped, but it's recovered by Shropshire. Williamson is whistled for reaching in, and that's his first foul. The Hornets are going to make some substitutions. Oh, you can't come across the body like that. That is a textbook reach. Gosley has it in the paint. Bounce pass inside. North. Has it inside. Slater beats it to the top of the key. Down low. Laid in with the D draped all over it. They narrow the gap to two. The Aggies will try to put a stop to this run. 
with the crossover. The Reed slides in with a soft lead. And they now go up by four. And quick point guards. Gosling takes it up. It's a That's his first personal foul. Penalty situation. Shooting two. Well, they're not terrible so far. Makes the first. Makes his first appearance. Gets the second to fall as well. Under nine minutes left in the half. Skips it to the right wing. McElroy. Nice move. What a last mm. line of resistance. You gotta come strong with that fella in there. Nice pass goes late by North. Williamson inbounds the ball. Deflected. But it's recovered by UC Davis. They go with a half-court trap. Can't get the jumper to fall. And it's still knotted up 17. Unloads. Would have grabbed the lead, but it was missed by North. And it's still all knotted up. Doyle raises up. Mm, way downtown. Gosling passes it up court. He's doubled up. Marie ties him up, but the arrow is going the offense's way. So they'll retain possession. Leads him in, lets it go. Snatched by Irving. About seven and a half minutes left in the half. Williamson backs him down. Set the pick, bro. Dish to the elbow. Irving goes to the crossover. McElroy. Catches it by post. Irvin shoots from the top of the key. Doyle pulls it in. Doyle didn't get that rebound by accident. He knew mm. he was a foul. That's his first first off. Doyle's good for a rebound or two here or there. Shooting two. He gets in there. In the scrum. Knocks down the first one. Gets the second to fall as well. Coley inbounds the ball. Goes up. Got the whistle. Oh my gosh. Seven. The first season, the Aggies are going to shake things up a little bit with some subs. He gets them both. Under seven minutes left in the half. They're coming up with a little mm. half court trap defense, hoping it will force some turnovers. And it's in.
Gets the second to fall as well. Jimenez inbounds the ball. Ledbetter brings it up court. They try the half-court press. Left wing. Irving shoots it. Holy yanks it down inside. The defense couldn't have left them any more wide open. Were they ever lucky? Bounces it to the middle. Williamson backs down. Beats it to the wing. From the baseline, collected inside by Cole. Deflects the pass, but it's retrieved by Garrett. Skip pass to the stripe. With the crossover. Shropshire. Has it on the elbow. Gosley tosses it up. Hooked away. Marie backs him down. Passes to the wing. Throws it up. The three was drained by Williams. They increased their lead to four. That good passing of Marie getting it right on the mark. So there's something out there he didn't like, and he called for a timeout. He wants to make sure that everyone is working together out there. Well, let's get back to the action. The Hornets are going to make some substitutions. Shear inbounds the ball, but it's tracked down by second. Hands Elmer. North fires no. the three. Jimenez hauls it in. That's his fifth rebound in this one. He'll make that one most of the time. Well, the D got a break on that one. Marie lets it go from the left block. It drops. And they're out in front by six. Here's the double team. Slater catches it on the low block. That last shot missed from 13. Just over four minutes left in the half. Feeds left wing. Backs in. Releases. The shot from the left block was missed by Marie. Still a six-point lead. Gosling takes it up. Plays it right in. And they're now down by four. UC Davis has had serious problems with their interior defense. And Tracy has a report from their bench. Coach Davis is definitely aware of that problem. He told his assistants that they have to bring more defenders into the paint, even if it means leaving the perimeter open. Desperate measures here, Vern. Thanks, Tracy. Marie puts it up. Off the front rim and out. But they're still out in front by four. Shropshire hands it off. Gets it down low. Gosley dishes to the wing. No good from beyond the arc. Williamson, way up court. They've got to learn to be patient on offense. Good shots will come if you don't rush them. Skips it to the left. Slater backs down. Slater. Williamson inbounds the ball. 2.51 left in the first half. Here comes the trap. Goes up. Deflected. Oh, look at that. Tremendous defensive help. Great job picking up the shooter. Slater kicks it out to the perimeter. North catches it. Right wing. Shropshire. Has it. High post. Slater. Nice little crossover. Stolen away by Jimenez. What a nice steal on the kickout. You can see him read it all the way. 
No one was open, and they'll turn it over on the five-second goal. Hmm. He had nowhere to turn, Vern. His man was in his pocket the entire time and caused the turnover. Two minutes remaining. Two minutes. To the paint. Backs in. Slater releases. Misses the tying basket. The crossover. Irvin to end their drought. Gets it to go. They're up 29 to 25. They're bringing the double team. Nice. The last ones to touch it, and they'll turn it over. These guys are having trouble with fundamental team play, Vern. As that turnover shows you, they don't have much in the way of chemistry at the moment. Dumps it to the inside. <sighs> Missed by Williamson. He had a chance to make the defense pay, but he doesn't deliver. Just sad. A little sad. Garrett has it middle. Misses again and can't make the defense pay for the foul. Bounce pass, right wing. Jimenez backs down. Gets it out left. Takes the shot. The offensive board gathered by Jimenez. Jimenez. Slater inbounds the ball. He's double teamed. Edwin fires it way up court. It's stolen by Goff. 27 seconds left in the first mm. And Menez. Aggie Pack sounds pretty excited, Fern. I think they like what they're seeing. Those fans are a special group, Bill. They get way into it. Dishes it to the right wing. Stolen away by UC Davis. Irvin got it off in time. Uh -huh. First half comes to an end with the score 33 to 25. Not bad without Webb. What do you think of the first half, Bill? Well, I don't want to rule out the possibility of a comeback for him. It hasn't been pretty so far, but there is plenty of time. Hold up, let me get my subs in here. I have an Elmer Irvin start the second half. Now we'll bring you our player of the half. Who's your pick, Bill? Murray has played with a ton of heart so far, Vern. He was the guy his teammates could look to for leadership throughout the first half. And I have no doubt he'll play the same way in the second half. He's my pick. You can hit that. Tremendous effort from our player of the half. Be right back. Back, all right, let's check the notes. Play number 14, loose. Play him loose, but you have to play north. Tight and Gosley tight. That's all I'm worried about there. Web on north. Let's 
get him. We're ready to begin the second half. Try to trap me. Doyle inbounds it to start the second half. Marie uses the crossover. Uh, I try to draw a foul. Snags it. Let's check in with Tracy Wolfson. Thanks, Vern. During halftime, I spoke with Coach Davis. He told me that he thinks it is going to take a different approach this half for them to hold on to this lead. Coach said that even though his starters had plenty of energy, he would still rotate in his bench players. He said that it wasn't a question of fatigue, but more of a method of showing different looks on offense. Back to you, Vern. Thank you, Tracy. Oh, the big fellow with a tough rebound. No denying him on that one. See, it makes a difference when you throw a good proper pass and they catch it in their shooting pocket compared to when they're like jumping for the pass or makes a big difference and guys like Webb and Marie can pass well so you want your passes coming from them right on target and then the defense doesn't matter quite as much you can get a shot off He's four for ten for the game. Marie passes to the low block. Get in. Almost a three-point opportunity. Instead, he'll go to the line for two. Shooting two. They're playing so fast, they've got us in a freestyle game, and we can do that this game. Jimenez. Perfect. Nope. Knocks down the first one. Have I gotten a perfect release free throw yet in the game? Any game? I don't pay attention to it. And he splits the free throw. Not that it matters. I have a real free throw percentage on. Goes by the numbers. Should have waited till he was done with this move, then went for the spot. I don't know what he was doing there. Surprisingly, he's not a great foul shooter. He makes the first. This guy next to Yimenez looks like a little kid in comparison. He gets them both. Irvin inbounds the ball. Dishes to the high post. Jimenez backs him down. Doyle catches it right wing. Hey. All these shots is going to help this team immensely. Where he puts it right in your shooting pocket. Important. Dumps it down low. Backs in. There's no chance against Jimenez. No. Nope. by Slater. He's shooting 37% for the game. They're coming with a little half-court trap defense right here. Doyle shoots. Ah, get it, Jimenez. Keeps it alive on the offensive end. Great offensive rebound. He works so hard to establish position. What a pass. Doyle. Gets it, baseline. Urban backs down. Hopes free. Mm. And it's controlled by Sacramento State. Hustle, hustle, hustle. With some abysmal stats. That last basket was buried by Shropshire. Shropshire, nice play there. He got deep in the paint and was able to post up. Youngsters, take some notes. Tunk it. That's how you work. Nice. That last shot went by Urban. Right around 17 minutes left in the second half. What a silky soft touch on that delivery. And he wasn't exactly See, alone. he pulls off a That's play a that nice Bucky shot. can't really pull off. Crosses it over. Locked. That out. Phenomenal hops help him get a lot of shots. He also has great instincts, a nose for the ball, and a feel for meeting the shooter's release point. With the floater. The layup. Elmer again. They're now out in front by 10. Shropshire brings it up. To the free throw line. Beats it to the baseline. Mm. 
North passes it to the low block. The Bucky Cole does some things. Right wing. Defensively, I guess that Elmer doesn't really do, but Elmer doesn't seem to jump for pump North. fakes a lot. Shoots with the clock Good D. Oh, he doesn't rebound as much. That's another rebound for a team that's doing a great job on the boards. They've got a big edge there today. Backs him down. Urban, the tough shot. Urban gets the rebound. Elmer. Urban. Reckon it as a starter. Uh, I might have to make him a starter over Bucky. I know it's a late season shift, but he seems to give me just a little bit more of what I'm going for for that power forward position. Bucky's more. Bucky can shoot, but he's more traditional power forward, it seems. While Elmer can just. seems to hit shots better. Well, it looks like they're getting set to inbound the ball. And he uh, attacks the rim with layups well. North dishes it to the left wing. Takes it up. Pulled in by Irvin. And that's his sixth rebound. Irvin game. can run. He's got six boards. Webb with the shot. Jimenez snatches it down inside. Nice play by Doyle. I controlled that release. Not to brag, but I did that perfectly so I wouldn't get blocked. North goes to the crossover. Not bad, I went for the steal. Win here would take us to what, 21 and 4? Mock up brackets. I didn't think we'd get a five seed. I thought eight or nine, maybe. But if we get a five seed, we're not even ranked. Gets the second to fall as well. Man, we'll take that. They're coming with a little half court trap defense right here. Anticipate the pass. Walt Webb should be energized enough to play the full second half. Oh, has it baseline? If anything. Back outright. Shropshire. Bold pass. Oh, nice position. Oh, clips it in for two. But they still trail by eleven. UC Davis is having real turnover problems. Tracy, do you have something for us on that? Coach Davis looked downright disgusted after that last turnover led to yet another opposition bucket. He yelled three simple words at his guys on the floor. Protect the ball. Thanks, Tracy. No good in the last layup by Marie. The defense did a nice job, but the young fella has to finish strong when he gets to the tin like that. Marie is tagged with the reach, and that's his first foul. Substitution. That is out of control. Their starters back in the game. It takes quick hands to get the theft, and he was too slow that time. Garrett inbounds the ball. Bronson gives us toughness, defense, and energy off the Leads bench, so. The pass. Collected inside by Garrett. Boom. Stolen by UC Davis. Well, he tried to sell the shot, but the D was alert and didn't buy. Good steal following the pump fake. Puts it up. Sort of a lucky nice. shot. Nice. 14 point, and he's his team's leading scorer. The Hornets Our with some difficulties. Shropshire way up court. Gets it right wing. Gosley passes to the right wing. Outright. Gosley's the only one we have to worry about shooting the three. I'll let Koo shoot it. Dishes to the right side. Well, he's uh, a three-pointer. Still a 13-point lead. About 12 and a half minutes left in the second half. 
He's got who? He gets him out. That's his first personal foul. Four to keep foul. Shooting two. And he makes the first. The Aggies are going to shake things up a little bit with some subs. Gets them both. Crisp inbounds the ball. With the crossover. Mm. The Hornets can trim the lead to single digits. Garrett has it baseline. Hands it off. And shoot. Later. Let's see what's going on here. Gosley passes it to the wing, tosses it up. That's not his shot. No surprise it was missed by Shropshire. Still a double digit game. Top of the key. Doyle puts up the tray. Shropshire grabs the rock. But they still lead by 11. Gosley takes it up, gets a piece of it. Well, that came out of nowhere. Just goes to show you can't underestimate anyone at this level. Foul. That is first too small. Foul. Thirteen foul. Shooting two. The first both teams are making substitution on the court. He's off on the second. Sacramento State is really strong. I don't know if I'll offer my recruits any scholarships or if they'll just be walk-ons. I think I'll offer Judd Gross a scholarship. He has good potential. Skips it to the free throw line. I don't know about Vadim Hornsby though. On the free throw line. That last shot buried from 20. Let that man loose and he will drill the deuce. Not exactly lockdown defense. Goes up. It's blocked. The Hornets can cut it to single digits. Skip pass to the inside. Garrett gets it on the inside. He gets up close Later. and personal and closes the deal. Oh, Leaves no Chris. room for error and no room for anybody to do anything about it. Ah! And it's scooped up by the throw to McElroy. Another steal by a team that's establishing itself as a very Gosling. tough defensive matchup. I'm out you see Davis calls time. Ernest, if you're not going to get that stuff, then Bucky's going to come in. Getting just getting killed out there. Got a quick breather, but they need him back on the floor. McElroy inbounds the ball. They're going to try to disrupt the flow of the offense with this half-court trap. Webb dishes it to the top of the key. Right block. McElroy backs in, passes to the wing. Webb fires. Connects from long range. He's shooting 50% from deep. Under 10 minutes left in the second half. Garrett. Gosley catches it. Top of the key. Passes inside. The steal. Wonderful job of denying the basketball that time. Great pick. Ledbetter. Catches it. Middle. There we go, Bucky. The Hornets. Use their second to last timeout. Substitution. We'll make some substitutions. Sacramento State is really struggling. Bucky can score a bit too.
Edwin hands it off. Left wing. I you know, just like Elmer Irvin a little bit Bianca. better at that position. Shropshire. Off the mark from the top of the key. That is not a shot, Vern. They've got to get a better look than that. Webb crosses it over. About eight and a half minutes left in the second half. Passes to the top of the no key. No way. The three ball is caught by North. 18 points, and he's the top scorer. Ledbetter passes it up court. McElroy gets it left side. They go with the half court trap. Dishes far side. Shoots. See, he had to fumble that a little bit. He still made it. He's two for three from long range. Yeah. That's an over and back violation. He just lost track of where he was on the court. You have to be able to dribble get felt Marie. Things like this happen. Morissette inbounds the ball. That will be a five-second five call. Violation. You have to have such good footwork to stick with your man and get that call. Great fundamentals. Under eight minutes left in the second half. O'Connor has it top of the key. Top of the key. North lets it go. It's him for three. They cut the lead to eight. McElroy backs him down. Bounces it to the left wing. Morissette yanks it down. Off target on the last layup. McElroy he did get that rebound foul. by accident. That's it. For that. Fourth team foul. Shooting two. Fourth team. Let's see if we can get him into the penalty. Bronson, not a. He misses the first. I was gonna say not a terrible free throw shooter. Has two bars. Good on number two. O'Connor inbounds the ball. The Hornets with some difficulties. Hmm. North has it right wing. North has been firing away. Get all over him, Webb. Shropshire. Uses the crossover. Takes it up. The finger roll is laid in by North. And they're now behind by seven. You see maybe switching things up a little bit. Tracy Wood. Has a report for us. Tracy? The Aggies just had an impromptu coaches meeting, Vern. One of the players yelled, Why are we rushing our shots so much, guys? A point coach reiterated. He told them, Slow things down, uh, shoot off the shot clock on every possession. Shropshire, lead pass to the paint. Nice. The steal by UC Davis. He was trying to thread the needle, Vern. There just wasn't enough space for that pass. To the elbow. This is it to the top of the key. Williamson dumps it off. Webb backs in. Raises up. Brings mm. it eight feet out. They push the lead to nine. Shropshire brings it up for it. North goes up. Uh, gets the finger no. roll to fall. He's eight for 17 for the game. Takes it up. Tip. Catches it. High Key post. north. Passes out left. I right, can shoot a little bit. Opong. Rather him shoot in the post. north though. Coley skips it to the high post. Shropshire. No way. It and it's no good. Poor shot selection there to say the least. 
Poor decision there. And the defense knew it. They literally backed off the shooter once the ball was released. They're going to double team him. You see the rule all time out. Good shot selection here. There we go. Both teams to make some substitution. Substitution on the court. Irvin inbounds the ball. Shoots from the post. Mm. By now. The Hornets with some abysmal stats. They give me a run for my money, though. It's not a cakewalk as I thought it was going to be. Dishes to the top of the key. And it's basically one guy, this guy right here. Feeds right side. Slater. Connects. Slater. He's shooting 50% for the game. Has it baseline. Irvin bounces it to the top of the key. Baseline. Jimenez backs him down. Beats it to the wing. He Going fumbled it a little bit. You can see when he does. Ah, uh, I made the wrong. He was ringing those in before, but all of a sudden, he's gotten a little cold out there. They double. Marie releases from mm. sixteen. Oh, M one. Man, a lot of my bases come by mistake. I meant to pump fake and pass. <laughs> Marie's such a good foul shooter, though. I wonder why. I mean, mid-range shooter, but it's hard to make a mid-range with him. And no tacos. Swings it to the right wing. Edwin hands it off. Misses, but you'll get two shots from the line. Gotta keep going, quit going for the steal. Knocks down the first one. He gets them both. Jimenez inbounds the ball. Marie tosses it up court. Leads him with the pass. Jimenez carries the two block Jimenez. They're ahead. 69 to 61. Takes it up. It's blocked. Get it out. Big fella. You have to protect the lane, and that time they tried to sneak one through on him. The big guy has spoken. Nice. They rolled us from goaltending. Count the shot. Ransom gets a double double. Didn't sit for long and he's coming back into the ball game. Two forty eight left in the game. Left side. Shropshire gets it inside. Grab by Doyle. Quick no. defensive reaction. Change the trajectory. That's what great defenses do. Contest every shot. Stolen away by Shropshire. Shropshire passes it to the high post. Two minutes remaining. Two North minutes. Or three. Wow. He's got 30. Jimenez. 30 for Key North. Dishes it to the left side. Jimenez 
Here comes the trap. Beats it to the outside from long range. Right off the right iron by Doyle. Got a good look they at still it. Still have a seven point lead. Pulls the trigger. How can he keep getting open looks? It doesn't matter how far you've got to go to get them, Bird. Every rebound is essential. Walk Pass through the play right. now. Webb backs him down. Urban. On target from the See, that's what Elmer Irvin can do. He's tall and he can shoot over defenders. And if he's around that mid range area, he seems to be pretty much money. Shropshire passes to the right. Off target by Slater. I wouldn't bet on him missing that one again. We're going to get a good win. To the strike. Passes it back to the top of the key. Irvin. Shoots with the clock winding down. It's good. It's just so money. Thirteen for Irvin. He's starting my next game. Shoots it up. An eight rebounds. Thirteen and eight. And a double double achieved. Sacramento State, seventy-five to sixty-four. And now it's time to show you our player of the game. Webb. Could have very well been Irvin though. Let's go to Greg Gumbel back in the studio for today's Pontiac game-changing performance. Thanks, Vern. Welcome, everyone, to the 2K Sports Studios. I'm Greg Gumbel, and we're set to bring you the Pontiac game-changing performance. It's no secret that getting momentum on your side is one of the keys to winning basketball yep, games. Yeah, big shot. UC Davis, Aggie, took off on a huge scoring run that all began on this play right here. This sparked the run that simply broke the back of the opposition. Thank you, Greg. That's what he this can do. This is Vernon Twist for Tracy Wolfson and Bill Rafferty. We hope you enjoyed this presentation of College Hoops on 2K Sports. I want to see these stat lines. They only shot 39%. 7 for 17 from downtown. That's good. 19 assists, out rebounded them by 11. 8 second chance points. Felt Murray with 10 points, 6 assists. 15, 2, and 5 for Webb. Had a block and a steal. Doyle had 14 and 7. Bucky with 3 and 4. Ransom with 11 and 10, 2 and 2 and 2. Doing everything. Ferdinand played well. Elmer Irvin, 13 8, 2, and a steal. Not bad. So we're going to make a starter change. Get Elmer Irvin up there. Six man will be Williamson, Ledbetter, McElroy, Chris Morissette, Hall and Goff. Last week of the season. Recruiting period is over. Recruiting will start up again in the off season recruiting period.
Welcome everyone to the 2K Sports Studios. I'm Greg Gumbel with Clark Kellogg. Just ahead on College Hoops tonight, we'll take a look at the upcoming big games of the week in College Hoops, as well as show you the best action from around the nation. But we begin with a special player who was an easy choice as our player of the week in college basketball. Why is this week's pick? And I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't show up here again. He has just delivered all season long and is making his case for player of the year. Now let's take a look ahead to the games that get top billing on the schedule in the days to come. We've come to the time of year when the conference pictures are really starting to come into focus. And this game is a crucial grudge match between a pair of the best teams in the Big East. Georgetown should come out on top if I had to make a prediction. Their backcourt is so solid this year and their guards love to get out and run. That gives them a huge advantage in a game that should be as fast paced as this one will be. But that's not the only item on the schedule that has wow. NCAA fans buzzing. This is a special rivalry in college basketball. Doesn't matter what time of year it is, or even what year for that matter, when these two get together, you can always count on a fierce competitive contest. A big game. North Carolina plays a brand of defense that should make the difference in this game. They are a tough, tough team to score against. And if you don't squeeze the orange, they'll take it. I think they'll be in top form for this contest. There was no shortage of excitement on the court in the past few days. <laughs> so let's take again. a look at our games nine. of the week. We kick it off with a big-time conference matchup in the America East Conference in the Big East. Georgetown, Thanks, top over Marquette. Marquette. Oh, Marquette was four like when I beat him, number four. The season. Right. We're in that critical part of the year when everybody's trying to get hot before the postseason. Momentum is everything they were 10 right and now. one. Georgetown really muscled up down low and was able to convert a lot of easy teams close their season to the for them. basket. Whether it was the big men or the guards, they made the most of their opportunities. They established their inside presence from the start and were able to rely on getting their points down low throughout the game. Although this next contest seemed predictable enough, nice. one of the best teams in the country suffered a severe shock to the system. Arizona got by UCLA. No one could have predicted this outcome, Greg. UCLA was sitting pretty as a top five team, but you've got to have some doubts about them after a loss like this. Leach was a man possessed. His 21 points led all scores. Watching him basically put his teammates on his back and single-handedly carry them to the victory in a big game situation like this was stupendous. Some legal screen there. That'll do it for us here in the <laughs> studio. For my partner, Clark Kellogg, I'm Greg Gumbel. Thanks for watching College Hoops Tonight, brought to you by State Farm, the number one auto insurer. Enjoy the exciting week of College Hoops action to come. All right, so two kind of not pointless games, but we want to... They don't matter for the conference, but... Going against a good UC Irvine team at UC Irvine. How did we fare the first time? Beat them by 21. Looked like that one was an ugly one. Alright, so we'll save here. Say thanks for joining me for another win. 21 and 4. Trying to go for that 23 and 4 mark. Going to the tournament hot. Anything can happen, so thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, everybody.